you know, the world kind of knows right now about the Bloodhound, Blood Jeff, you know, the story about him. You know, we just dropped the doc. Uh, of course, the same day I dropped my doc, bro, Trap Lord Raj dropped his doc like three, four hours later. Like, no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I really would have dropped my shit earlier, but I had to edit a part. They weren't going to let me monetize it. I had to take some shit out. Um, and then I drop it, and three hours later, you know what I'm saying? Trap Lord Ross drops it. So at this point, everybody kind of know the story um, of Bloodhound Lil Jeff. Um, so came and stole the content. Yeah, I mean, you know, man, you know, man, I ain't gonna say nothing, man, you know. But it did. You can <laughs> check. I know how them internet people could do. You could check. My shit literally dropped, and three hours later, bro, shit dropped. Literally three hours later. You know what I'm saying? But nah, but long story short, man, um, friends of Bloodhound Lil Jeff, uh, some people allege these is the friends that, you know, um, were with him when he died. Um, these guys been beefing, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Bloodhound Q50 and 079 Vert. Uh, seem like they haven't been seeing out of eye. Uh, Vert with a number of the other Bloodhounds. And right now it's looking like Vert might have to go back to Trap City, man, or might be stuck in the middle, man. It's not looking good for bro. It's just not, for real. It's just a sad situation because, I mean, my opinion is I feel like Vert standing on principles. I mean, I could be wrong because I don't know the whole situation, but just from the outside looking in, I wouldn't want to backdoor my people nor my homie. So in my opinion, if I was in that situation, I would just wash my hands with the whole damn thing and be out the streets. Right. I'm just going to be 100% honest. Hey, that's, hey, that's what I was going to say. That's what you told me. You was like, this is the type of shit that make motherfuckers leave the streets. So just for more context, um, uh, Vert, like we like we put in our documentary, Vert grew up in Trap City. He got family, like close family, or if not blood relatives from Trap City. And you know, when the death of Z Money happened, I guess he was really close with Z Money. He thought it was kind of some sneaky back though. He didn't respect how they did it or whatever. So that's what made him pick the Bloodhound side against his family. You know what I'm saying? He rolled with them all the way. Um, it's some so it's this, this a rumor, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Whatever is a little discrepancy or whatever, but they saying that um Vert may not have been with him when they dropped Bloodhound Lil Jeff off. At the hospital, allegedly. So allegedly, you know, when Blood Holler Jeff was shot, we we put this in our doc too. The friends who was with him kind of spun the block a couple times, waiting for shit to get cool. While the police is on their way, they came back to the block, picked up Jeff, took him to the hospital. So I, I thought that was a you don't hear that a lot, you know what I'm saying, in these stories that they they really care for their brother, you know what I'm saying? They they kept they 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 wouldn't leave until they took him with him. But whole, whole, long story short, again, um, and you know it's it's a lot of shit, man. I ain't trying to, you know, what I'm saying, say too much in terms of like it's a lot of shit that's going on to where it's like you don't want to like lay it out too much. But basically, you know, Vert, they saying he might not have been there when they dropped him off, but at the same time, hold on, it's internet tweaking. I already know. Hold on. Yeah, so they saying Vert may not have been there when they dropped him off, allegedly. But then at the same time, if you kind of know what, if you know about certain shit, then it may be a reason that Vert wasn't in them pictures that allegedly show people dropping Lil Jeff off at the hospital. Um, Facts. Either way, the rumor is... They trying to back though some of the trap city dudes. You see what I'm saying? Um, for obvious reasons, and trying to use Vert. You know what I'm saying? They try yeah. Vert. Vert is they guy. They like Vert, man. You know these niggas. You talk to these niggas. Y'all been going back and forth on social media. I guess uh, Trap City Rob or one of them dudes that showed a, 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 old, a old. It was old text message, but like Vert was asking for like Uber money or some. You know what I mean? Then Vert was saying other shit. So he in contact with these guys and the bloodhounds trying to get over there. You know what I'm saying? If you was forced to make a choice, like what would you do, bro? Would, would it be your friends or your cousins? Like, would you be able to back though family for your people? Like, you know what I'm saying? 
I just feel like uh, the reason why a lot of them operate like that is because of the, the the morals and things that were instilled in them from the streets, not necessarily from the home base, but from the streets. A lot of these dudes grew up seeing people get backdoored and shit. They closest people, uh, friends, brothers, sisters, mothers. So it's damn near second nature to them. But for me personally, like I said, I feel like that would be my cue, like God telling me to get out the streets because I, I just, I don't know, I'm built different. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm not with the retaliation, but in the in the sense of it involving my people and my friends, that's my cue to get out the way because I'm not going to be the reason my cousin or somebody get killed or I'm not going to be the reason somebody I call my brother, who's a homie to me, get killed. And it's a sad situation because from my understanding, I was seeing a little uh, speculation that they was trying to say Vert ran or some shit. Now, I could be tripping, but I thought I seen something. They were trying to make it seem like Vert ran from something or what, you know, when, when it he got. ran from what? From what? The shooting or some shit. I don't okay. know. Oh, uh, but no, no, no. I'm not saying he ran or didn't run because I don't know nothing about that. But in the video, everybody get back in the car. Well, I'm saying like they're insinuating on some of these posts that I've seen like Vert ran. Now I'm I'm not in Chicago, so I wouldn't know 100. percent But you know, some people put rumors out there to tear people' images down. But just from some of the rumors I've seen, they was trying to make it seem like he either ran from something, or when the when the when the kitchen got hot, he wanted out that motherfucker. But either way, before we get to that, I'd already been out the damn kitchen because the second you told me I had to choose between my family and my my friends, I'm done. You know, and I'm not ashamed to say that. Nah, facts. That's true. Now, nah, I, I, that's a hard. That's a hard choice. But now, 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 what's crazy is the story. How how we saying it make it sound like, oh my god, this is some another Chicago, Chicago so terrible. Another terrible story from Chicago. This shit happen all the time in Chicago. This not the all first day. time. This Everywhere. just a publicized situation where your gang is is ops with your cousins. So now are you going to shoot at your cousins or are you going to be like, nah, gang, I can't do that because that's my family. Like, you see what I'm saying? Love Reese just recently. I'm out of there. Love Dirt. You know what I'm saying? We reported that. We thought that the little push and peace shit was going to slow down because I don't think J-Man was supposed to release that call. Um, Love yeah. Dirt kind of did slow it down. I don't know, but he did shout out Love. He did shout out J-Man in the song. Talked about the whoops. So that was big. That was a shout out. That's showing love. That's pushing peace to me. So Dirk on his pushing peace shit. But Lil Reese, who is, you know, allegedly or supposed to be J-Main cousin, first cousin, said, don't bring J-Main around me. He ain't welcome in the hood. So. But I think, I kind of think that goes back to the, uh, that saying of, uh, don't always, uh, put your your business out there because some people ain't going to be happy for you. I don't know how the exact saying is, but it sounds like to me they rushed or Jay main was excited and rushed it. But in all reality, that should have been kept under wraps. I think it would have been more accepted if they were doing something behind closed doors. And it just and came out and it, it was like big. Forefront, like it should have just came out yeah, and it was like doing it. Yeah, like let's keep it small, low key. And then when they come out, it's just going to be big. Like to be honest, Imagine if J-Main would have never leaked that call and then we just heard the Lil Dirk song. That would have been way bigger. That would have been yeah. huge. Yeah. Like, that would have yeah. been huge if we never heard the call, but then you just heard the Lil Dirk song. You know what I'm saying? That would have been like, what? Lil Dirk yeah. shot at J-Main? Motherfuckers would have been playing his song. All. Like, that could probably fuck up Dirk's song, low-key. Because J-Main... That news hitting people for the first time off that song would have made people go stream the song. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Nah, but hey, yep. but this, so, but, but getting back to no, you, right? I, yeah, hold on. No, 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 my bad, bro. I know my internet, my internet is fine. Oh, you straight. We gonna make it work, bro, and I'm gonna keep working every day until the, until we could go live and shit, and then it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? But nah, bro. But getting back, getting back to what I was saying, uh. Fucking Vert, man. The Bloodhounds could be mad at Vert more so because of shit like Lil Reese making public statements like, look, I'm gang gang. Fuck my cousin. He can't come over here. 
I done shot at my cousin before. I done pulled up on a block shot and he was dead. He could have died, but I'm over here. He over there type shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's some shit that's, sadly, that's some shit that's okay in Chicago. So when you get a dude like Ver who don't want to go along with the back door of my family for, for the gas, you know, niggas, niggas don't want to stand next to him no more. You know what I mean? Sad part is a person like that should be in a way celebrated because that goes against the norm of what is, is accepted nowadays all across the United States because the trickle down effect from fuck my cousin is everywhere now. So everybody's screaming, I'll kill my cousin and shit. But when you got somebody standing on, bro, I'm not with that. Instead of people celebrating him or, or being like, that's what you're supposed to do. They look at him like he a bitch or something like that don't make no sense to me. Yeah, bro, this shit crazy. But now, nah, man, hey, like, it's Chicago, man. It's like, what, what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? One thing I would like to say real quick before we go, I love both their music. I I, I was yeah. already getting in tune with them. Vert got some shit. You know what I'm saying? They trying to be some little young fly niggas. I like that. I, was, I see the nigga in the mansions and shit already doing it. I like that shit. Uh, Q50 got some great music. And I wish both them dudes the best, man. I, I, I wish whatever, you know what I'm saying, little situations they got, iron that shit out, figure it out some way, somehow, and get to the money, get to the music. If, if anything, that's like, that's probably the best play you could make if if you family the bloodhound legend. You know what I'm saying? Is 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 show him like shit, we still did it, bro. We did it for you. Take the ports, man. We take the trap, man. What you say? I say take the trap, man.